To write the formal charges for each element in H2SO4, that's sulfuric acid, we use our Lewis structure here and this formula. So I have H2SO4 written differently up here. They're equivalent structures. You can see the two double bonds here, like we have here. We have the sulfur, oxygen, and hydrogen here, and then we have the same thing here. This one's a little bit easier to work with when we're calculating formal charges because we can see all of the valence electrons. So why don't we start out with the double bonded oxygen. Oxygen is in group 16, sometimes called 6A, six valence electrons. Unbonded, we have two, four valence electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. They're not between atoms. So we have four of those. And we'll subtract one half of the bonded valence electron. These are the electrons between atoms. We have two, four of them in this double bond. So four there. Six minus four, that's two. Minus two, that equals zero. So the formal charge on the oxygen with the double bond, that's zero. And we have another oxygen here with a double bond, so that's going to be zero as well. Next, let's do the sulfur in the middle of the structure. Sulfur is in group 16, and it has six valence electrons. Unbonded valence electrons. All of the electrons for sulfur are between sulfurs and oxygen, so there are zero unbonded. And then one half of the bonded. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And sulfur can have more than eight valence electrons, an expanded octet, so that's okay there. And we have six minus six, that's zero. So the formal charge on the sulfur, that's zero. Next, let's do this oxygen here with the hydrogen attached. Oxygen, group 16 on the periodic table, six valence electrons. And then this oxygen has two, four unbonded valence electrons, and then minus one half of the bonded. That's the two here and the two here. So we have four. Six minus four minus two, that gives us zero. So this oxygen has a formal charge of zero, and this oxygen is identical to this one, so this is also zero. And finally, hydrogen, group one on the periodic table. All the valence electrons are involved in a chemical bond, so we don't have any unbonded. And then we have two in the chemical bond divided by two. That equals zero. So this hydrogen here, zero, and this hydrogen is the same since they're identical. So we found the formal charges for each element. They're all zero, and that is what we would expect for the best or most likely Lewis structure for H2SO4. So by finding that the formal charges are zero, that supports the idea that this is the correct way to draw the Lewis structure for H2SO4. This is Dr. B with the formal charges for each of the elements in H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.